Alright guys, time to work for a while, might as well show you the process of being a failure as an indie developer, ok? I'm using Fire Alpaca, it's free and it does everything I need to do. I do illustrations and spreadsheets on Fire Alpaca. I do not need fancy equipment, I need to spend money, <coughs> it's all free. And these particular sprites I'm working on are for Project Eva 2, which is a sequel for my first game, Project Eva 1. Space Fighter Rookie was a different game, it was released on Steam, it was family friendly. Project Eva 1 was Peggy 18, it was an adult game. This one will be family friendly, I'm not going to do adult games anymore. It's not been a fun experience for me. And there's a few things that you want to keep in mind when you do 2D games. Okay, First of all, if this is a 2D games, you do not have a 3D floor. So your floor is basically going to be a platform. And with a platform, so unless you do perspective, something like this with you know computers stuff in the background you need to change the way you look at vanishing points so when you do spreadsheets for 2D games the first thing you notice is that my character Erika is is turned in a three quarters view okay now normally three quarters view means that if this is the eye level, if you're looking at the character right in front of her head, you're gonna see this thing. And as such, the feet are going to follow the lines of perspective. So one feet is here, the other is going to be here. Right? That's perspective. She's turned in space, so one feet one foot is in front of the other. So the first thing that you don't want to do is follow perspective. Everything is at eye level, so the feet must be at the same level. Otherwise, when you put your sprite into your game, you will have one foot, this one, going over the, f the floor. So basically, it doesn't make any sense. Unless, like I said, you work with a 2.5 perspective dimension and you can apply perspective. But that's beyond the point. Now, as you can see, I've got some idle animation going on, but it's for the old version. I mean, this is this was the, the first version I came up with, but it was a pretty bland design. So I went ahead, added, added some holster open up the jacket, put the jeans inside, streamline, you can see it's more feminine, right? And some, I don't know, broken down jeans. And from here, all you've got to do is add the frames for the animation. Then I've got Darren, which is the partner. The way you can design characters is basically you've got those huge details, then you've got those medium details, like the, old, the holster, and then you've got the small details, like shotgun cartridges and some medals, some plates, marine plates, I don't know. It's something they use in the US and not from the US, I'm sorry. And then I did the Darren's sister, which is Ayame. She's a reporter, and <coughs> I wanted to give her a like some carefree girl that like to mess around, but not in a bad way, you know, not some kind of feminazi that ride the carousel. She's just, just a girl. She's a reporter, and I wanted to give her a 90, 90s feel with these socks. Feel very 90. You remember yoga pants, socks. Good. So now <coughs> I'm working on the scientist. 
which was some kind of neutral-ish character in the first game. I mean, she didn't care much about what was going on. She was in the secret lab below the corporation and she's going to be the villain for this episode. I'm still not sure about these boobies, but whatever. I mean, it's going to be this this big when you play the game. Yeah. Or even less. So you're not going to see them or notice them. So what I was doing here was finishing up the line art. Alright, so let's close this gap. Yeah. Let's take the ink pen. Close this one. You know, part of drawing in is finding the right line. And deleting the useless junk that lies around. So, okay, we got this one, got this one. Yeah. Add some weight to this line. Okay, I was drawing the feet. Okay, this feet has to come not like that, but like this. So the feet has to come a bit like. Okay, if this is the line. The feet has to go one, two, three. Okay, so it's. Yeah. Like this. Coming up. And do something like that. Do I dig this thing? Okay, by the way, I need to establish the, the floor. Okay, this is the floor. Fine, so the feet the feet will end here, one here and the other over here. Okay. Yeah, feet are not easy to draw. Pretty much like like hands. The cool f the cool thing ab about feet is that is that nobody looks at them. Why would you look at feet? There's nothing interesting. Unless you're a fetish or something. Okay, so the line art needs to be to be following these these guidelines. Okay. I'm not sure about this foot, but whatever. Like I said. Okay, this is going to be flat. And then it goes like that. Like that. Okay, you've got the heel, which we won't see, it basically will be like that. So, like that. Still hidden by the foot. And we need to basically struggle with the shoe. The shoe goes there. How, how do they go? How do female shoes work? Jesus. Something like that could work. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, basically, let's see. Let's check this out. Okay, this one goes right there. Goes right there. Goes like that. Yeah. It works. Yeah, sure. So, close this gap. Refine this place over here. Nice. This one I don't like. Yeah, de deleting these lines is the part I don't like about drawing. At least digitally. I don't know why. When I do, when I draw on paper, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't face this issue. But when I draw digitally, I just leave a lot of lines. Oh well. All right. So. Uh, right, 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 right. So this goes there, goes there, goes there. So this one over here, like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't quite know. So should be something like that. Right, like that. Nope, like that. And goes around. Goes like that. And turns down. There's a heel. It's 
turn, so it's like that. Cool. And yes, 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 yes. Maybe, 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 maybe it's not anatomically correct, I think. Okay, first of all. I think the issue is right here. Yeah, because this will be the back, this will be the front, I mean the, the, the top side. I don't need this line, let's refine it. Uh, by the way guys, I'm not an artist. I mean, I've picked up drawing because I needed to, to learn to draw, but... I'm not a full-time artist, That's if that's what, what you want to know. So, my drawing skills are not that of master, whatever you want to call it. Oh. Okay, this is what bugs me. I believe the perspective of this floor is wrong because if this floor does that then these should be further back maybe maybe let's do this new layer let's try with blue maybe I need to do something like this I don't know, something like that? No. Whatever, 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 whatever. Okay. So. Uh, black, thank you. Yeah, maybe it's too high. Maybe it should be lower. Something like this, and go down like that, closes up right here, and comes up right. Now, looks, la bi looks la a bit like one of those shoes from anime, you know. So, if that does that, I want to do is okay. This is like this. So what I want to do is okay. It goes like like this and goes down like that. Right. So this is the bottom part. So we need to take out yeah this one. Yeah, I feel it's too round, too round, too much round. Too much roundness to the, to the shape. So if you see, if you look at this, this is going up and closes there. So this has to go down, like... I'm not sure. This, this, this goes here. This, this part here is this one. So this one should be this one has to go up. So this one goes here because perspective and this one goes up. Now if this one goes up here we need... alright I think I get it. goes like that. Nope. Maybe not. Who knows. Right. So close this one. Ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta. Ah, uh, being a female. <laughs> I 
What am I even do? What, what am I? What am I doing? I don't know. Ah, uh, you know what? Fuck it. Seems about right. I would shift this one. Okay, it's not long enough. That's the issue, right? So let's do like this. It might work. I don't know. Do you? And this one goes a bit further on, like that. Yeah. Now. The main issue here is to make it look right. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be look right. Okay, maybe I'm focusing on the wrong things. Let's do it. If, if this was a foot. Without a shoe on it. How would I go about it? So, we said the perspective was this one. So, down here, we've got this one, this one, and, and this one. Right? From there, you, you add the. It would be something like that. Maybe it should be something like this. Which means... That this here would be this. So, I don't know. Nope, 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 nope. Something like that. Yes, yes, I can see it's not working. Yeah, no, guys, please bear with me. I do not draw shoes on a daily basis. So I've got absolutely no idea how they look like. Yeah, I should probably look for, for some references. You know, especially this part here which doesn't absolutely make sense. Whatever, you know what? There's a lot of things to do. And in this case... So, let's leave the feet for another time. We have... We've got this layer. So what can we add to the design of this character? She's a scientist. And you've got to keep in mind that I'm going to have to animate this sprite. So... De there should be details, but there should not be too many because when you when you start 
building all the sprites you need to be consistent so that's something that you want to keep in mind when you draw a character so unless you're in a team and you've got time I suggest that you keep it simple add something but not too much because it's going to be tricky okay this one I, I was planning on making it stop here S yes okay, the, the thing is that I, the shoulder doesn't look right you know yeah whatever I mean aside from the feet I think it works yeah this feet is so, so so small too small you know what let's go with the color I figured out something for the foot later I mean this one is okay this one is not okay first of all it's too small and second, I'm not sure about the perspective which I'm working on. So let's see. Let's see. Okay, the the, the lab coat is white. Is the fill tool? Oh, this part should be something like. That so I can fill this white. Oops, close the lines, guys. Close the lines always. Uh, this one white, yes. So the her hair was blue, I think. Yeah, I mean, at least the game in Japan, so blue hair. If I'm not wrong, blue is basically black. I think it was m darker blue. Yeah, darker blue was darker blue. Skin should be. Let's try this. This color. Yeah. It works. I mean, ah, uh, oh, right, the other arm, whatever. Skin, skin, skin. No, skin. This is not skin. Do I want to give her some? Yeah, let's go. Th let's do this. Should be something darker. Yeah. How about that? Now I could go for a black skirt. Mm. Let's try something a bit red. Mm. You know, eh, eh. Okay, this one red is fine. I can dig it. Um, I will keep it with the same color. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, there may be some issues, but if I cover the feet, looks fine ish. and I've got to move the color below the line art level 
Oh, by the way, if you're drawing sprites, you may want to avoid black lines, like the ones I did. But I like the comic feels to it. So, use them if you want to give a comic feel to the sprite. Otherwise, just use a darker version of the color you're using. So, this blue, see? Just use something darker to to do the contour lines, right? So they blend with the environment, right? And I was doing this, 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 right? Let's fill all the white spots. Okay, the problem with the fill tool is that if you use the anti-aliasing option you will end up with some pixel because at the end of the day there's no difference between digital art and pixel art. It's basically pixels. It's digital, you don't see the pixels because you're using anti-aliasing. Look at the difference. Okay, this is anti-aliasing. Let's zoom in. Okay. This is anti-aliasing. You can see the pixel if you zoom in. But due to these settings, the anti-aliasing, they are going to smooth out the edges. So it looks like some standard lines. If I take out the anti-aliasing, there you go, pixel art. There's no difference. It's the same. Though if anything, you've learned something new today. Or maybe not, maybe you already knew. And I think you can use that to your advantage. If you want to, for some reason, you want to suffer and do some pixel art. Not a 16 by 32, but something bigger like 300 by 150 which you may debate whether it's pixel art or not but if you do not use the anti-aliasing it will look like pixel art I mean Project Eva for all intent and purposes was 300, 8 and 150 wi wide each sprite so the issue I had when drawing the sprite sheets was that, yeah, I could draw down the general lines, sure, but then I had to go and refine each pixel for each sprite of each animation and that takes quite a lot of time and by a lot I mean a real 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 lot of time and patience by the way I do envy pixel artists because they <laughs> they must have loads of patience which I do not have because you see I'm I'm drawing the art I'm not an artist okay so my my, my art sucks legitimately sucks okay but I've got to think about the game design I need to come up with characters, a concept art, uh, writing a story that l resembles remotely a story, and I've got to write lines of code. Then I've got to test my game, and then I've got to market game. So you can see that I do not have the mental mental strength to actually spend 16 hours just for a sprite. Okay, I just I just can't. Ideally, what I was looking for was finding an artist. Now, I'm a private, I'm not a company, I cannot offer people contracts. I just do not have the money to do so in a sustainable way. And considering the fact that basically indie development is basically shooting yourself not in the foot but in the balls okay if you if i try to be an indie dev 
you will basically sell literally like 10 copies if everything goes well I sold 50 was yeah 45 60, 50 copies of Project Eva in Japan and that was because the game was porn if there was no porn in the game <laughs> well I would have sold zero copies and, and by the way there's what am I doing why am I why am I coloring in the layer of the line art whatever and like I was saying if your game is not pixel is not for for a mature public public you're not going to sell jack shit unless unless you build up the hype and you provide some okay there's something called moral integrity you've got a moral compass you've got to decide do I want to make loads of money right do I want to make loads of money or do I just want to build a brand and to do basically the games I want to do like I made Space Fighter Rukia which is a 2D top-down shooter vertical shooter with spaceships and I do realize the game has basically no market I mixed uh, Diablo and Borderlands loot with MacWarrior customization and a TN-esque gameplay so you can see that the game is actually fun to play I mean legitimately I, I personally had fun playing my own game after testing it I mean that, that has to account for something all my friends are having fun playing the game mostly because we are old and we've grown up playing those games but finding loot customizing your ship there's, there's no game that does that there's Tyrion and that's it Tyrion is the only game that allows you to customize your ship that's power, you have shields you have generators Tyrion and that's cool the problem is you have no, no level in Tyrion so I added a le a another layer of gameplay and it was the, you, you basically level up your pilot which is Rukia hence the name duh and the stronger she gets basically she can she can pilot stronger ships so if you find a level 5 ship you cannot use it until you are level 5 now of course if you find a level 5 weapon on the other hand you can use it sure there's no, no problem with that the fact is that you're not going to be overpowered because there's there's one stat that's called power and that's the amount of energy your weapon will draw from your generator so if you of course uh, higher level weapons generate more power I mean uh, they require more power to run so if you put high level weapon yeah sure you might one shot an enemy but then you'll have to wait for the power gauge to fill up then you've got shields and armor and you've got ship classes so basically you have different mission types and each ship will fill a role like delivery missions you may use a light ship for delivery missions because basically it halves the time it takes for you to clear the level so you can farm more money and believe you me you need money okay this one yeah I need to delete this one right so basically it's a fun game you you buy your first heavy ship you go nuts this boss fight you can play stealth mission you can play infiltration missions and it's fun the game is genuinely fun, genuinely fun you just need to give it a chance the problem is that it's not a very renowned genre basically there's, there's no game like that and there's no market for that so to 
tie that with your moral compass you've got to decide well do, do I want to make a game that actually sells do I want to start a business and if I want to start a business I need to follow the market basically that's one way to go about it the other way would be to build your name you build a brand and then people will buy every kind of shit that you can think of because they were not buying your game they're buying your name that, that's what that's why Call of Duty has been basically the same for 10 years 10 years the same game and people were still buying it like waves of people buying Call of Duty which is not a bad game by the way but to reiterate to reiterate the point the game was the same basically it's no, no difference from one to another yeah you can argue somewhat some jets some jump jets and some akimbo gun and all that nice stuff but basically it was the same game eventually some magic happened and they did something new and guess what it was a success nonetheless because Activision is at the end of the day Activision so when you buy a game from Activision you're not buying the game you don't care about the game you care that it's Activision unless you feel that unless you fit that niche uh, part of the market where you actually look for gameplay in a game I know it sounds weird to look for gameplay in a game but unless you're that part of that niche you're just going to buy look at Fortnite I played Fortnite couple of hours I uninstalled the game was it bad? no I just didn't like it I find the gameplay not enticing but I can see young kids playing the game and that's why it's famous that's why streamers make a lot 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 of fortune playing these games because they're mainstream it's like listening to pop music you can't go wrong with pop music but try going for a rock for, for a rock and roll band <coughs> it's going to be hell because rock and especially metal is a niche and there's not a big market on top of that we live in, uh, in strange times everything is saturated and globalization made things worse so see I live in Italy so there's a cost of living in Italy I may need to sell my games for 15 bucks you know 15 bucks may seem a lot to some of you but it's really nothing in here <clears throat> you consider half of the money goes away basically taxes and fees and you're left with seven bucks now seven bucks a copy and if you consider that you need like 500 euros to to rent a room a single room by the way you can see how much you need per month on the other hand <coughs> if someone is from say India or China he doesn't need much to live and this leads to one a very saturated market where everybody is trying to undercut so undercutting is the norm uh, and lately with the war between Steam and Epic raging uh, do I want to cut this right here? yeah do I want yes yes with the war between these two giants one handing out free games the other basically coming out with discounts every every day on top of that companies discount their products on their own you're basically left with nothing there's basically nothing to live off in the gaming like I said <coughs> like I said you need to build a brand build a name build a brand and follow the mainstream so roguelikes yeah they works roguelikes works first person shooters they works but they're changing the game market is changing right now it's all about PvP 
and survival. You, f you see oh, how many games, battle royales are spawning. It's the same game. It's the same game over and over and over again. But people play these games. They're mainstream. I don't care because the reason behind this phenomena because I've got a moral compass I mean I could drop everything I'm doing right now I could drop this I could drop this and this throw them away and make one of those mainstream games make one of those silly games like call it like I don't know armchair simulator okay do some asset flipping on unity and put it on sale maybe you want to give your armchair like I don't know a shotgun so you just move around and shoot people in the face with a chair that kind of stupid things are what people spend their money on basically if you make a decent game with good gameplay first of all okay let's get into the marketing part while I'm drawing this first of all marketing your game is a pain in the ass I've sent out more than a hundred keys and the 70 keys were taken and the rest didn't even bother to take the key out of these 70 keys only I think 9 or 11 people bother to actually play the game and leave a, a recommendation not even a review and out of these 11 people one acted like a dumbass like he didn't even bother playing the game he didn't even bother explaining in his review what the game was about okay he said I don't like stories I don't read stories but the story of this game is boring the gameplay is boring and he showed only the first mission where you start with a light, light ship so with a light ship it's not extremely fun because you've got only two weapons later on he didn't talk about the end game when you can upgrade your weapon you can upgrade your ships so you can build your your end game ship which is level 50 by the way and he didn't talk about the new game plus feature where you could basically finish the story and every mission becomes harder and harder 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 every time so it kind of shifts into uh, min maxing your ships and playing the game actually so it's kinda hard and then you got this review and since you're not famous it's the first thing that people see when they look for your games they see oh bad review see it's a bad game sure they look on YouTube they see the review bad game goodbye I'm not going to buy it so you've got to think about the risk of unprofessional curators on Steam unprofessional people because you see this day and age it's not about your opinion being right wrong correct false it's about your opinion it's my opinion thus it's right I don't care if my opinion is false basically it's a lie I don't care this is how society works today so maybe I should put some almost white in the eyes too. maybe on the right layer too yeah okay she had I think blue eyes dark blue eyes so this is how it works guys you can decide for yourself if you want to be an indie game developer sorry not plural but you know you can be an indie game developer start to that or you can put a put a team up start to that I mean I cannot fathom thinking about running an indie game company and having to pay all these people to basically sell what a hundred copies and you've got to split the rewards with 10 people how much do you think they are going to make on top of that you got to be aware of the scammers uh, generally speaking there are two types of scammers 
those who ask for keys through your email and those who actually take your key through Steam Curator because Steam Curator doesn't feel like a professional thing it should be now the problem is that Steam doesn't enforce any type of control over Steam Curator so basically everybody can be a Steam Curator everybody can take free keys give them away or even play for free they are not uh, liable to write a review for your game so what's the point? if you're not writing a review you're just there for, free, for, there for the free keys <laughs> if you don't... I mean it's pointless I've tried to mail some YouTubers, they didn't bother to say no because education is something that it's not even on the radar I mean you can be rude every uh, just I mean it's a word that is completely gone bonker shit and if you want to be an indie game developer you've got to realize that you're not going to make money first and you've got to deal with the lowest low of human of, of what the lowest low of the human race basically it's capitalism at its best and it's capitalism that doesn't reward you for being good but rewards you for being stupid and uninspiring and not original and it's bad so if you're doing this for the money you've got to throw away your moral compass okay I want to make a game I want to make a game yeah you've got to make the game that the markets want you cannot make your game the game of your dream so you've got to decide do I want to throw everything away or do I want to do the games I want to do be poor for the rest of my life live me with my parents and never find a woman because <laughs> basically no woman will approach you if you ain't got at least some form of stability okay if you can't afford to live by yourself buy your own things rest assured that no woman is mad enough to live with you I'm sorry I, I'm sorry and it's just the way it is just the way the world works I am old enough to know how the world works and sadly that's the way it works so we have refined the drawing added some colors I need to fix the legs and I'll call it a day for today so thanks for watching it's a long video I apologize and see you next time